blade and quill. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is episode 2 of a new series of tutorials on brushes. Last week the tutorial was on how to download and install a brush bundle. Today I will show you how to organize the brushes in general. So let's not waste any time and let's get started. First, as always, make sure that your freehand brush is activated. Go to the brush preset. Click on the display options icon. Right now our brushes are being displayed as thumbnails. Use the slider to make the icons bigger or smaller. Click Details to see the name of a brush beside its icon. Same thing here, use the slider to make the icon bigger or smaller. To search a particular set of brushes, use the search bar. If you want to find all your erasers, just type eraser. Sometimes you don't have to type the entire word, just the beginning is enough. If you want to find all your pencils, type a pencil. Type ink if you want to find all your ink brushes. Now please note that the search bar is character sensitive, so make sure <laughs> to spell correctly. All brushes are organized under tags. To create a new tag, just click on the tag icon. In the box, uh, we could type, for example, um, best pencils. Now we need to click on the plus sign to add the tag. As you can see for now, the uh, tag content uh, is empty. Now you can see it on the list right below all. We are going to get uh, all the pencils, uh, so type a pencil into the search bar. For the purpose of a demonstration, I am going to randomly select three pencils. Click on the brush of interest first to select it. Then right click on it and select Assign to Tag. We are going to choose the tag we newly created, uh, the one named uh, Best Pencils. Click on the next brush to select it. Right click and select Assign to Tag and choose again uh, Best Pencils. And do the same for the last brush. Now let's check and go to our best pencils tag and they are all here. To remove a brush from this tag, right click on it and select remove from this tag. We could also use the erase button and we are going to talk about this a little later. To rename the tag, click on the tag icon. You will write the new name in the box right next to the pencil icon, that is the edit icon. First remove the actual name if you have something written there. Now replace it and type uh, favorite pencils. Click on the plus sign and now the tag name has been changed. To delete a brush from any list, and let me go to this tag, just click on the brush of interest and then click on the little trash bin icon, that's your delete button. 
Now, one person went to the uh, Critas forum and explained that uh, he had a problem. He said, if I click delete, uh, my brushes will not be available for the current session. But if I reboot Krita, these brushes will appear again. So then he went on to uh, explain how he tried to fix that problem, but it did not work. However, I am mostly interested by the answer. They say that they are aware of a problem and there is no need to report it as the resources management is being reworked and those troubles should be gone in Krita 5. So if this is happening to you, uh, don't stress. And uh, as they said, uh, the problem will be uh, solved in Krita 5. I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of that. I am going to assign the same brush to a few random tags. So let's see, I'm going to choose uh, maybe the heart stamp. This way we'll be able to spot it easily. I am going to assign it to uh, the uh, digital tag first. Then uh, let's see, to the favorite uh, pencils. And then what about we do the uh, pixel art? Okay, now let's check each tag and make sure that the heart stamp is in all of them. So here it is. Right here. And here it is. And success. So you can add one same brush to several tags. Click on the tag you want to delete. Click on the tag icon. Select delete this tag. Now check, it's gone. The brush preset history remembers the last brush you used. You could use this feature to your advantage and make it work like a brush preset palette. Let me show you how. Go to the Settings tab and choose Dockers. Now find and click uh, on the Brush Preset History. In my uh, particular workspace, uh, the new Docker has appeared under the Layers Docker. Make sure that you have your freehand brush activated. Click on the Brush Preset icon. Select the tag All. In the search bar, type Pencil. For this demonstration, I am going to select three different pencils. As you can see now, they are all showing in the Brush Preset History window. The only thing I have to do now is work on my project and go back and forth between the three brushes. The window can handle 10 brushes, so you could also add watercolor brushes if you wanted, bristle brushes or ink brushes, etc. I'll stop here. As you can see, this is uh, one good way uh, to uh, speed up your workflow. We are done for today. The information was uh, basic, I know. <laughs> but as a beginner, I think you will agree that's all uh, you really needed to know for now. Next week, I will show you how to adjust the brush stabilizer. Thank you for watching and following my little tutorials. For all viewers out there who haven't subscribed yet, uh, I hope someday you will consider doing so. 
and to all my subscribers uh, thank you for trusting me have a wonderful and successful week i will see you next monday bye